Hi everybody, welcome to Fusion. My name is Alyssa. I'm a small group leader for the Gold Girls. Um, and I'm here tonight to talk to you about Daniel. Donovan started us off at a really great place last week. And I'm here to just delve in a little deeper and follow along the storyline. So tonight we're going to be talking about um, talent and gifts and why they're important and how you can use them in a way that is glorifying to God and helpful to those around you. So the story we're looking at tonight is actually straight out of Daniel chapter 2. Um, and it's the story of Nebuchadnezzar. He has this terrible dream and he would like to know what it means. So he goes to his advisors and he tells them, I would like you to interpret this dream for me. But not only would I like you to interpret this dream for me, but if you don't interpret this dream and tell me what this dream means, I'm going to tear you limb from limb and destroy your homes. Just a little bit of pressure, huh? So they discuss among themselves how they can get him to listen to reason. And they, they clearly don't know the dream. I don't know about you. I certainly don't know anyone else's dreams. But they go back to him and they say, King, we don't know what this means. And he sends an edict throughout all the land to collect all the sorcerers, magicians, astrologers, all of them, to have them rounded up to be killed because these, these people could not tell him what his dream was and he was so worried about it. Now, these, the king's army came to collect Daniel and Daniel asked what the big fuss was. Why are you here for me and my friends? And they explained the situation and he said, no, wait. I can, I can answer the king's dream. Give me a chance. So they say, okay. And they go to the king and they set up a time for him to meet with the king to explain the dream. Daniel goes home to his friends and he explains the situation. His friends are Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Also interesting stories later on that I'm sure we'll get to. But he goes to his friends. He explains the situation, says this is what's going on. Please pray that God will give me this dream so that I can interpret it and um, save the lives of me, you, and all of these other, other people. And then he, he leaves it with God, and he goes to bed. And while he's asleep, God gives him the dream and the interpretation. So he gets up, and he goes to his meeting with the king. And this is what it says in Daniel chapter 2, verses 26 through about 28. The king declared to Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, Are you able to make known to me the dream that I had, I have seen, and, and its interpretation? Daniel answered the king and said, No wise man, enchanters, magicians, or astrologers can show to the king the mystery that the king has asked. But there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries, and he has made known to King Nebuchadnezzar what will be in the latter days. Your dreams and the visions of your head as you lay in bed are these. And with that, Daniel goes and he tells the king the dream and what it means. And the king is so blown away by the fact that Daniel was able to do this that he piles treasure on him. He shoots him up to the highest ranks in the court. And of course, Daniel, being the great friend he is, brings his other friends along for the ride. But not only that, but Daniel, in doing this and explaining that his God is the one who gave him this ability and this interpretation and the dream itself, that he's able to get Nebuchadnezzar to worship the one true God as well and to really just hone in on that fact that this was a gift from God. And here are the points that I'd like to make to you guys tonight. Number one is kind of a side note, but I don't think it's a side note. I think it's really important. <clears throat> when Daniel found out what needed to be done to save the lives of him and his friends and all these other people, he goes right to his friends. He explains the situation honestly, and he says, please pray for me. Daniel had the kind of friends who stood with him in this trial and did all they could to help him and support him. When you have a gift, be it a little gift or a huge gift, God has given you community for a reason. We need to be together with our friends supporting each other and helping each other in every way that we can. Point two, <clears throat> God has given you your talents and your gifts for a reason. No matter how big or small those talents are, he has a plan for you to use them. Daniel had the gift of dream interpretation. Daniel did not have the gift of knowing what a dream was, but that didn't stop him from trying to save the lives of him and his friends and those around him. He said, you know, my gift is this, but God can make it this. And with that, he went to bed and he rested. He took the plans that God had. He said, I'm here in this time for a reason. I'm here to do something. Maybe this is it. And with that, he rests. He leaves it with God and he goes and just lets it be. He just leaves it behind. Instead of getting so worried about the situation you might be in, I want to challenge you this week to just breathe and let God. God is in control and God has given you the abilities you have for a reason. Be that that you need more patience with your siblings or you are just so scared about what's going on right now. These are all reasonable things, especially in the given times. 
but God has given you a little bit of patience and he's given you a little bit of courage. So let him make that a whole lot of patience and a whole lot of courage. And lastly, find your spiritual gifts. Daniel had the gift of interpretation, which is actually a spiritual gift in the Bible, in the Old Testament. So look in the New Testament, I think it's 2 Corinthians, <laughs> and find the list of spiritual gifts. There's tests online. You can talk to your friends, talk to your family, ask them what they think your gift is, and then hone in on that. See what you can do to amplify that gift from the little bit that God gave you naturally to the lot of bit he can do with it. Thanks for being here, guys. Have a great night.